So one of the things that we do as composers is we're sort of building our own vocabulary of tools and, and uh, techniques. We, we look at the lives we actually live. The music you actually like to listen to, the things you grew up on, that it might be a movie, it might be a record that you particularly liked, um, it might be something you heard this morning, and all those elements, whatever it took to make that music in the first place, become something that might inspire you as you move forward through your life as a composer. People may be surprised to, to learn that I listen to an enormous amount of pop music, uh, and it influences what I do, even in when it's Pirates, which is, you know, you think of it as an orchestral score, but it's actually a rock and roll score. It's just played on the orchestra. That's something personal to me. I came up as a rock and roll guy, so that was actually what, it's my language. It's the language I speak. And I'm just putting it on different instruments, and it, uh, it turns out doing things like that, staying true to myself, actually is what makes my music speak to the people that hear it. And it resonates with people, and I'm, that's something I think is universal to every composer. They develop, and they learn their skills, and they learn their craft, but at the end of the day, they're actually left only with who they are, and it turns out that's enough. It's actually interesting enough, as long as you can get that into your music, and people will want to hear it.